Sure. The last mag is between here and Mamu. But anyhow, baby, from Mamu to over here to Lost Meg, that's 10 miles. We, from here to a uh, young store, that's about eight or nine miles, isn't it? Yeah. Well, anyhow, ham and horse. They would come on those poor little horse, fro, 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 fro. And Mama and another lady, they had made us a stand, and they would make pie and lemonade. Oh. So we'd sell pie and lemonade. Uh huh. So you would sell the pie and lemonade at your dad's track? Yes. I think that's what they call a bush track. There was a lot of those back then. Uh huh. Bush and, track. Uh, <coughs> If you had, if you own property land, what you'd make in the field, you'd make. You could. It was a little. They go. Uh, they go around, or it was a straight shot. Straight. Okay. Shoot. Straight shoot. Yes. Well, anyhow, so they would get proposed Leroy's horse and Uncle Horse and a bunch of horses that was there to run, and they would bet on those horses. Oh. And listen, sometimes it was so bad the fight would start. <laughs> And the poor horse was tired. So your uh, Paul Leroy would come to the stand, buy some pie and lemonade just to talk to me. <laughs> and then one time, my daddy came and he told him, he said, hey, I'll have her here to work, not to talk. Oh. He said, I'm sorry. I said, please leave. I said, after a while, I'll have a break and I'll go meet you. <laughs> He didn't want Leroy to talk to me. And all at that time, he would have been his son-in-law. <laughs> and I knew in his face he was a good man. I said, I got to flirt with him. <laughs> well, anyhow. And then, <clears throat> one time, he came, he told his mom, he said, I love her so much, I have to, I, I've been engaged five times. Uh -huh. And he was a sixth one. So he Wait, bought... was engaged five times? How old were you? I was 16. And you'd already been engaged yes, five, five times? Time. I like, and with the ring and everything? You're damn right with the ring. <laughs> that was one that came, we had bought some furniture and uh, sheets and pillowcase. But I didn't want to marry him because all he did, he was drinking. And I knew I couldn't live like that. He loved to gamble. He was on the ship and he never got married. He told his sister-in-law, he said, I love her too much. I'm never going to get married. And he never did get married. So you broke it off. Oh yeah. And I find another one. Elmo Miggy from Mamu and Leroy Frugier that was taxi draw. I went out with him and a, a little uh serve. I didn't like him, he was too short. <laughs> what was the name of the first one? Uh, the one on the ship? On the ship that was Leroy uh, Frugier. And then it was Elmo Miggy from Mamu. They all died. Papa died after them. Well anyhow. He came, and we were sitting down, it was on a Sunday afternoon. He came and he went, out. that was about a year we were going out together, he had bought my ring. He said, Mr. Joe, I'd like to ask you a question. What's your heart? <laughs> I was so sure, and I was looking in a hole to see what they were doing. <laughs> he said, I'd like to ask your daughter, for your daughter's hand. He got up. I said to him, I said, oh, he don't hit him, poor thing. Poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want him to hit him before I married him. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> okay. He said, I'd like to marry your daughter. You think you can make her live? <laughs> he said, I'm surely going to try, sir. He said, I got a job. <laughs> he said, how much do you make? Well, it is just $65. Uh, fix this. Fix 65 cents an hour, but it, it's going to add up a little bit every month or every year. They're going to give me a raise. Took his old hat, he scratched his head, <laughs> and he walked around. Well, Izzy, ask her mama, see what she think. <laughs> so we went in the field. Mama was doing something in the field. It was Sunday afternoon. Well, Izzy, Marjorie, you love him? I said, yes, I do, mama. Very much so. And he was some people like us. Mm -hmm. His dad and mom were very kind and very good people. So, we decided to get married. His mom gave me a shower. Oh. And we got married May the 26th. Mm -hmm. He had just turned 17 him. 
Oh, wow. And I was still 16, and everybody told me, and at my wedding again, they said, we give you three months to live with him because you're not going to be satisfied. You're too particular, and you want everything you wear. <laughs> I was very hateful, but I loved him enough to force him out with you. So you were always that way? Yes. <laughs> and I'm still out. I know. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say that. Well, that's good to but know I'm you a, just said you. I yeah. am a good mo woman anyhow. You, you are. You Nobody are. hate me. Everybody loved me. Well, I mean, now I, you had six engagements. Well, <laughs> so yes. I loved you. Thanks <laughs> God for that. And listen, when I have a bar, because I have a boyfriend to come see me, I'm the only one that would have a boyfriend at, at mom and daddy's house because the other didn't want that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we talk, 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 but then we run out of things to say. Hey, what are y'all doing? <laughs> well, we tired talking. <laughs> well, if you don't have nothing to say, he go. I said, you're going to have to leave, and I hated that. But I said, I'll see y'all Wednesday night at the dancing mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then sometime for Paul Leroy would come, I was already at the desk, I would leave him, you see. But he was working for thing. I thought he would, wouldn't come. He come on Sunday night at the house one night. Uh -huh. He slept at home. And I was talking hot, good time. I had it to my mom and, and the girl that was home to sleep with me. Uh -huh. And we'd laugh and laugh. And all at that time, Papa Leroy was all hearing me what I was spelling. Oh, oh, really? And I'd call him, Leroy, you want to talk? He wouldn't answer me. <laughs> I said to myself, I guess he's going to take his ring back tomorrow. <laughs> go and have fun without him. <laughs> but anyhow, next morning he got up. He was kind of booty. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I had ever seen him like that. Yeah. I told him, see, listen, I took it off. Put that back on. Because if you don't talk to me, why should I keep it? <laughs> well, he said, don't forget, he said, me. Okay, I said to myself, everything is fine. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs>